दावे के दर्द पर आएंगे आप उनके इसलिए आश्रम धर्म की भक्ति जो है भक्ति तो आराध्य है एक शब्द है किंतु विष्णु पुराण में क्रियते क्या तात्पर्य पहले अर्पण कर लो अपने को मैं तुम्हारा हूं तुम पूछो इसलिए इसी श्लोक में भी कहा भगवत भक्ति श्रवण कीर्तन स्मरण बंधन पहले अपने को अर्पण करो ऐसा नहीं ये श्रवण कीर्तन करो और इस आगे कहा प्रभु जी ने कहा यो बात क्यों कहा इसमें भी शरीर में आशक्ति है और सरोकार बंदी इसमें कुछ भी नहीं है सेवा की बात कृष्ण की सेवा की बात इसमें क्या है अभी तुम करो और तुम दो तुम्हारा कोई चीज रहे तब तो तुम्हारा तो कुछ है ही नहीं इसलिए अर्पण भी ठीक थी So it's true that bhakti is the sadhya or the ultimate goal, but vaishnav dharma is not the sadhya for attaining that type of bhakti. So for these reasons, Mahaprabhu rejected as external. If you know more, you may speak something higher. So, Sri Ramana Roy said. By karmapanam, by offering one's the fruits of one's activities to Krishna, this is the highest goal of life. So in Bhagavad Gita, you know, whatever, whatever yagi you perform, whatever, really offer yourself to Krishna, then perform the nine limbs of the ocean. Attachment to the body, and there is no question of Direct sense to Bhagavan. There is no question of Atma Sambandi. इतने माई आए हजार माई पांच हजार दस छह हजार वो भी पैदल आए और साक्षी दिया और वहां से जगन्नाथ जी के मंदिर में आए और भोग लगने पर उनका सारा प्रसाद हजारों मन भोजन खुद कर रहे थे और जगन्नाथ के लिए कुछ नहीं करते भूखे रहने साक्षी स्वरूप में साक्षी गोपाल ने तब को काफी जमीन जायदाद लेकर के मंदिर बना करके पढ़ाया था 
तो वो मूर्ति है नरसाई भगवान है लोगों को फिर भी विश्वास नहीं होता जो ठाकुर जी का उनमें विश्वास है और तीसरा जिनको भक्ति में दृढ़ विश्वास है शास्त्र के वचनों में भी दृढ़ विश्वास है ऐसा व्यक्ति भगवान के लिए सारी क्रियाओं को कर इसलिए ऐसा श्रद्धालु लोग शास्त्र वचन पर विश्वास रख करके किंतु ये Chauvin, Chaturvedi Brahmin lady, and uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto 11, Chapter 11. So, in this verse, a, a different person. <laughs> सबको छोड़ करके हमारा शरणागत हो और हम स्वान सब पापे दो मुख से समस्त पापों से यदि कुछ इसमें पाप किए छोड़ने से डर तो सब पापों से छुटकारा दे दूंगा मुक्ति कर दूंगा मुक्त दे दूंगा इसमें मालूम होता है ये थोड़ा थोड़ा डर है छोड़ देने में इसको डर माता को पिता को भाई को बंधु को देश को माता पिता को छोड़ करके जाने में ये तो पाप यो बात याद है कहा इसको भी बारी बतलाया शरणागति शरणागति क्या है अनुकूल लक्ष्य संकल्प तो तो ये भी बात हो और ये तो हमारी मंशना भी क्या सचमुच में अर्जुन सखा होने पर भी भगवान के शरणागत नहीं थे जो उनको कहा एंड देन डिसाइड्स टू लीव देम कंप्लीट टू डू माय भजन मान बजेता सतोत्तमा ही इज द हाईएस्ट बेस्ट पर्सन so, what is the meaning of Satutama? Who is Satutama? Shri Gurudev Makshanam Raja, Antam Sava Mahavyo Makshaisa, Mukhmasucha. So, first he said, Sarva Dharma Vritsacha, give up all dharma. This dharma refers to Vanasham Dharma, Antam Sava Mahavyo Makshaisa. I will deliver you from all types of sinful reactions. Do not fear. So, why is Krishna saying, I will both? Everyone who is born, they have so many debts. They are indebted to the demigods, to the sages, to their forefathers, to other living entities, to the king of the, the society. This Sharmagati surrender to Krishna is also external. I want to hear something superior. So, first we should know what is Sharmagati. In the Haripati Sutunai, they are very strong, determined, unbreakable vow that those things which are favorable for devotional service must accept them. Maintain me, who will maintain my life now and in the future. So if husband comes along, then one thinks, oh my husband will maintain me and forget Krishna. This is not charity. To have a very strong faith, Krishna will maintain me every step of my life. So then, Karpanya means to always be very meek and humble, to not abuse in each behalf, to consider oneself more insignificant than a blade of grass. And in this verse, Sarvadhamma Prajaja Mamekam Shanam Praja, there is no mention of direct devotional service to Sri Krishna. This, in Brit 
Bhagavatamrita, Arjun himself, he was speaking with Narada about the time when he received the instructions of Gita because Narada glorified him. Oh, you are a great personality. Krishna has directly instructed you Bhagavad Gita. But what was Arjun's opinion in regard to this? He said, actually, I am really not the true recipient of Sri Krishna's mercy. Why? Because I am Krishna's friend. I have a relationship with him as a friend. But what did he say to me? He told me, oh, you should do Sharagati. This is do away to Bhakti. But I am already established a relationship as a friend. So therefore, by giving me these instructions of, of Gita, this is not really the, the uh, re to receiving Krishna's mercy, but what is it? Krishna cheated me. I have been cheated. If Krishna had given me a blessing that I could attain, Raja Bhakti, service of Sri Krishna Braj, oh then this would have been a blessing. But instead he told me, you should do Sharnagati. So I have been cheated. So this teaching, this is for the people in general to teach, give instructions to people in general. Because in Sharnagati, there's no conception of Sarup Anubandi, the relation, the eternal relationship between the Sarup of the soul and the Sarup of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And in here, there's no description of direct Krishna Seva. And also, Master Jahaka said, don't be afraid. So the actual Sharnagati mentioned in this verse is inspired out of fear, not out, out of loving relationship. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, hey, oh, Bhaiya, this is external. Tell me something superior. And then Ramananda Rai gave a suggestion. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied to this. Well, I mean, Today, as you said, Dunder Bhai, uh, lost in transit. He gets so many questions like, are you going fishing? <laughs> yes, would you like to get hooked on Krishna? <laughs> or is that your pole box? Yes, we can take you to great heights. <laughs> so, I've come up with something. I've solved the problem, Gurudev. I think what I've done for the sannyasis will help them immensely. Now, it's high tech. It's taken a lot of the pocket size thunder. <laughs> it comes from a thunder tree down under. <laughs> on For aeroplanes, no problem going through, check in, check out, and security. What is that? You know? So, for this to actually manifest into something that you would recognize, I have to add water. <laughs> oh, good place. Reach for water. <laughs> I'm not that good yet. Now, being a doctor, I always recommend a good laugh because laugh is the best medicine. But actually, the best doctor and the best surgeon, the best, the best magician, done that. I have to be careful not to give too much or too little according to the length of the dunder which will manifest water do you see the mist? so oh. hot okay now mm. I will in a minute thank you yes please that's not an ice cream I know that Where's the dome going? Ah, there it is. I place into the magic bag, which is empty, of course, except for. Oh no. I have someone here that wants to meet you, Guru Day, that's been wanting to meet you for such a long time. <laughs> Thank you. 
mal abgeschaut. Also ich habe eine halbe Luft. In den Zellen weg. Du wirst die Zellen weg. Ah. Ah, Rocky, ja. Oh. Oh.
Kotum. I don't know what the date is, but we're in the kitchen watching him make potato here. And the potatoes in the pot on the walk on the right. On the left, they're boiling peanuts. And you see the large, large pots they use. Very big, nice wooden campfires. Because gas isn't big enough. We'll go for a closer look. These are three of the cooks we have. There's one more. All of them are Brahmins, so they're all qualified to cook. In this walk, we're making potato here, right? Alu kia? Boiling in alu kia, right? What making? And then, they're, so they're probably going to peel the potato if they're making alu kia, which is like potato sweet rice, basically. Then they'll peel the potatoes, burn your fingers like mad. And then you mash them and grate them. And then you mix them with milk and sugar. And you got the cottage here. And so these guys have been cooking day and night, every day. And it won't stop until we're done. Okay. In this pot, we're boiling peanuts. Afterwards, we'll put some like, salt on them. That's probably going to be it. For the cottage On a normal day, we make roti, but cottage today, so we won't be using as many rolling pins. And many roti pop We also got lots of buckets and serving spoons. We have to do 500 devotees. These guys have complained that the basket's too heavy, so they couldn't hold it up in the air for me. But that's uh, right there at Green Papaya. It's for the international broadcast. Green Papaya Subji for lunch. Probably gonna have some pumpkin with it too. It should be. Here we have the fourth cook, one who speaks somewhat English, so he's nice to talk to. Navendra, his name is. I don't know the other ones, but he's the cook. The cook, number four. Talking to David. He's been cooking for seven years. He's a very good cook. And he's very happy to stay here in Jagannath Puri. Yeah. He's always happy in Jagannath Puri. He doesn't want to go anywhere. And he never wants to leave the Puri Dom. Give me money. <laughs> These guys ah. are saying give me money. As you can see, it takes many cooks to cut all the sabji up. This is only about half of them. The other ones are behind me. Even the girls help out. Quite a bit, actually. <laughs> The two you see there and the one on the left are very peak cooks. They do actually more than I do. A lot more than I do. I just stand and watch and boss people around and pretend I know what I'm doing. The one on the right always yelling at me. This is Kamal. He's like... When Prabhuji's not around, it's like him in charge. <laughs> but other than that, no one else can tell anybody what to do. And there's Radhika. I don't know who the other person is. Okay, we're back on the other side of the kitchen now. Oh, this is the cutting room. We're back in the kitchen, other side of the cutting room. There's lots of noise because there's so many people in here. There's about 30 cooks cutting. 30 Helpers cutting vegetables. This is green papaya. Kind of like potatoes. Well, not really. Kind of like squash. I don't know what it's like. It's just good though. And we have to peel them first and take the seeds out. And then we slice them up. Again, the girls are helping. There's many other cooks too. This is Hare Krishna Prabhu. He, he's always in the kitchen. He never stops helping. This is for... Um, broadcasting. Broadcasting. Yeah, you guys are gonna be on TV. Camera <laughs> will help prevent from obviously hand burning, as well as if you cut yourself, it'll stop. As you stop can see, cut. I don't need it because my hands are tough. If you have soft hands, you need it. Yeah, yeah. See? But since yeah. it works like a meal, he has tough hands. It's very acidic, the papaya, so it stops your hands burning your hands. Um, like a battery of cream. Also, if you cut yourself, it stops bleeding. Mm -hmm. oh. You press it. Try to make a space between your hands so you don't cut yourself. Very good. But if you don't have practice, then I don't recommend it. Then your fingers go missing and you wonder where they went. But it's a quick, quick way of cutting things, you know?
Especially fingers. You must be very skilled. I have a rule. Don't try these in your house. Yes, that's the rule. That's why we only have them in India. They're extremely sharp. Also, devotees from all over the world are helping. We got Yankees, we got Brits, we got Bolivians. I'm not sure where he's from. I think, I think Costa, Rica, Costa Rica. She's from New York. I don't know where they're from. They're from Austra Australia. She's from Australia. She's American, but she moves around a lot. She's from Costa Rica. One in the back there. We call Bolivia also. That one there. That's Bolivia. All right. Let's see if she can smile. She's our roti wally. She's always there to do roti too. She didn't speak English, but her English. Is, maybe he can translate for us. This is called coconut, right here. Coconut. This is shredded coconut. These pieces are too soft to shred, that's why they're not shredded. And this is called pista. And Hindi cashews are called pista. And we're shredding them slightly here. We'll give the Lord a very nice flavor here. These are pistachios in the West. In the West, they're called pistachios. Thank you very much. That was very nice. Now, can I get all of you to smile? No. Madonna's quite gross. She's also from New York. Probably about 50 kilos or 100 pounds. Something on my lens. Oh, this here is Premananda Prabhu. He's the chief. Everybody asks him and asks I him. I am cheese. He's cheese? No, he's chief. I am cheese. Chief commander. What is on my lens? Commander of uh, Maya. Uh, he's always happy and always serving the rice house. Never stopping. 24-7-365 days a year. He doesn't know what a leap year is yet. It's very hard to find Prabhuji standing still. Now he's hiding behind the pillar. Come on out. He never stops moving. Ah, Prabhuji! Ah! Always busy, never stops. Okay, we got the fourth cook together with two of the other guys. I don't know where the other one went. They're squinting like that because there's lots of smoke from the fire, so I'll be quick. Right now they're making peanuts, boiled peanuts, and then they'll salt them and put some other stuff on them. That's about it. Here we got more milk for the potato kheer. Probably only makes on a It's extremely good. Better than normal kheer, actually. But only on a he makes. He makes very nice preparations on the kadasi. That way people don't complain, oh, it's a kadasi. No, no, a kadasi, but really, a is good. Kadasi is very good. Probably explains why. I don't know how. Take the logs. Get all the black stuff off. You see, I can't get too close because it'll damage the camera. You can see they have big pieces of wood. The flames are coming up the side now, so that's a pretty hot fire. Now he's going to adjust this one. Really cooking. I don't know how many BTUs that is, but it's a lot of heat. Oh, he's making the other one even hotter. Wow. You guys like to pose for the camera. Okay, stir, stir. Stir. Stirring the big potatoes. Because they're going to peel them for the cure. But... Go! <laughs> Distributing the pieces <laughs> equally. Sometimes. <laughs> 
So you pump them normally very hard, and that knife is very sharp. Pumpkin all has to be peeled though. Which is taking place here. Never stop. So much feeling. Whoa. I finally got them working. Before they just wanted to look and be pretty for the camera. We're taking out the potatoes now and some of the ashes. Cool the heat down and then they put the wood back in. Because you know they can't just turn a knob and it goes away. They gotta take the heat away. Interesting and scary the way they do it. Very hot and dangerous. And now that those potatoes cool down for a while, we get to peel them. It's so fun. To get water in there is a pump, like this. Fastest. Through the low and inefficient pressure of India. <laughs> These guys are staring at me like, when is this bastard going to shut up? I can't use that thing. When is he going to get to work? After taking the, whatever they're cooking out, they clean the pot just by boiling water in it and squishing it around for a while. Get served with everything, best way, and then you don't want to move the giant hot wok out into the middle of nowhere. Or good. Best way to clean it. Got out and just mark it so you know. Well, she was important to have come in here. Those things are all slimy and nasty, how come? She probably wanted to come up with some other conspiracy theory. Against some other monitor. I think they're gonna pick Jeevan this time. I recorded that. Oh, I did record that. Oh, no.